actually pretty well. And you know, and I think that's one of the areas where the industry can be quite proud. You know, if you take a look at, from a standing start of around 2004, 2005, we've implemented something like 26 million meters to date. By 2015, that'll, that'll turn into about 64 million meters and represent over half the households in the United States will be uh, monitored by a smart meter, which I think is just something really you know, kind of incredible when you think about the amount of capital and infrastructure needed to deploy something like that. A smart grid is a, is a very important modernization effort of the uh, electric grid. If you think about it, the uh, electricity industry has been around for over a hundred years and much of the in infrastructure at the transmission and distribution level is not very different from what it was almost a hundred years ago. So the reliability of the grid, the ability to send accurate price signals to customers, the ability to better manage outages from storms and other events, to communicate with customers, and to really optimize the operations of the grid is going to be dependent on hardening the system and making it smarter. What Smart Grid really involves is almost a transformation of the way business is conducted and electricity is delivered on a daily basis. It also transforms the relationship between customers and their electric distribution providers. Well, there really are several challenges. I mean, the foremost being the money. Uh, capital is extensive. Uh, we're looking at something along the line of $800 billion necessary to complete the infrastructure deployment for Smart Grid, so that's a significant challenge. But I think probably even above that, once the, the, the capital side is solved, and I think it will be, is figuring out how to articulate better to the, the industry, to the regulators, and to our customers the value of Smart Grid. Because so far, really what we've seen is a lot of infrastructure deployment, but we really haven't reaped the benefits that, that might be realized by our customers in the future. If you talk to the really early adopters in the smart grid arena, I think the first thing almost to um, a utility would say is they underestimated uh, the amount of customer involvement that was going to be involved associated with these projects. Utilities for decades um, have really looked at doing projects is really part of a technology change out. And Smart Grid really was the first instantiation of where they would come in and really affect the customer. And I think they underestimated that. And I think you see that in some of the emerging trends right now, such as opt-out, uh, which are really coming to the forefront uh, within certain parts of the United States. I think another thing is utilities attack, uh, attack these really as technology projects and not business change projects. What I mean by that is they really looked at putting systems and processes in, but really didn't think about the pure organizational change uh, and the customer change associated with it. So many companies, especially in California and others, that were pushed into the smart metering world of deploying millions upon millions of smart meters were forced to put these meters out there and then put in the systems to support them. The problem was is that the data became exponential in size and they went from a utility where they would store 30 points of data for most customers a year to one that would store 35,000 points of data and in addition all of the customer reference data around it. They also added to that uh, available data in the market and available data uh, through their counterparties. That data has created a, a problem for most of those implementations as well as other utilities because they didn't know what to do with the data. Sure, they bill their customers, but they've had to uh, expand their systems to, to manage that data. Now they're trying to leverage it, and the question is, what do we do? It's just so much data. So it, it's the problem around big data. It's the problem around using the data to support customers and interactions. But also, most utilities are looking at it as how do we operationalize the data and use it to become more reliable, more efficient, and meet the smart grid demands of being a better utility. Thank you.